Welcome back. Well, we have one of the highest rates of skin cancer in the world and need to cover up before going out into our harsh sun. The problem is we can end up missing out on crucial doses of something called vitamin D. But of course, Aussie Ingenuity has produced a solution, as Sophie Hole explains. A sun-safe message with, a, with an added bonus. It's hard to argue with the science. A deficiency of vitamin D has been linked to everything from autism, diabetes and poor bone health to heart disease and food allergies. But when the slip, slop, slap message has been loud and clear since this campaign in the 70s, and sun is our greatest source of this vital vitamin, how do we stay sun safe and not D deficient? Actually shocked that I had low vitamin D. I mean, you know, how could I? I was always in the sun, I was always out and about. You know, it, it, was, it was amazing. When Annie Zuckerman was diagnosed with cancer four years ago, she was told her vitamin D levels needed to be higher. As a fair-skinned, sun-safe mum of three, she decided to risk her skin to improve her general health. If you look at vitamin D deficiency rates, they've grown dramatically in the last sort of 40, 50 years, because uh, we spend our mornings in cars, our days in the office, and we come out and the sun's gone. Then, when we do get the chance to soak up some precious sunshine, we slather ourselves in sunscreen to avoid skin cancer. And that blocks not only the harmful UVA rays, but also the UVB rays, which are essential for vitamin D production. Entrepreneur Matthew Collett hunted high and low for a solution. We basically developed a formula that uh, allows some of the UVB light to come through to your body so you can produce vitamin D. The formula was developed in the US and its claims have been endorsed by the Therapeutic Goods Association in Australia. Dr Michael Hollick of Boston University is a leading authority on vitamin D and says Solar D sunscreen is a major breakthrough. We had theoretically thought that this was possible and then we actually went ahead and worked with a group that actually developed that process. It's been an exciting development with huge potential. $1.8 billion is spent on sunscreen each year in the US, $10 billion globally. We then did a study to demonstrate that a sunscreen with just a little change in the ingredients will permit more of the vitamin D producing sun rays to get through to make vitamin D in your skin. Entertainer Guy Sebastian is an investor as Solar D gets set to make a major splash this summer. In its second year on the market, it's expected to generate sales of more than $15 million thanks to a distribution agreement covering 10 countries. Kind of that fine balance of what's too much sun and what's enough sun and, and this kind of eliminates the guessing game and it gives you safety yet still the ability to absorb the good stuff. Annie's investment in a few tubes of the product over the past year has paid off too. The doctor said, your vitamin D is fantastic. Excellent, he said. Yeah, your 